This ain't no vlog. This ain't no vlog. This is a slog. The SAS Australia log. Brought to you by Craig, aka the crew number nine. That's eight. That's nine. Well, week one is done. For you viewers at home, but for us, the pain has only just begun. Where should I start with my slog? I know, day one. You've met the recruits. What a brilliant bunch. Boy, we had no idea what we were in for. Taken into the Jordanian desert and buzzed by black hawks. Then marched to be buried alive. Then a 10 mile run to base camp, only to be stripped naked. Well, almost naked. And hosed down with high pressure hoses. Oh man. And if that wasn't enough, all of a sudden we're taken out and we're chasing a train. <laughs> Some of us had to run a little further than others and then jump off without breaking any bones. Holy moly. Then what you didn't see was another grueling run back to base camp. <laughs> By the end of the day, we were in a whole world of pain. And that, friends, that is just day one of SAS Australia. We're on the move. I've been scoped. Day two. Man, we woke up in a world of hurt. Cold bowl of porridge, hard boiled egg, and then we're into it. What did they have us do? I'll tell you what they did to us. They took us down to the Red Sea. The Red Sea! They made us run off a shipping pier into the sea and then swim, swim to a rope that led to a black hawk chopper. Can you imagine the downdraft pushing you under the water? And we had to make it up into that chopper if we could. Well, what an exhausting first operation for the day. And then, <gasps> then they take us back into the desert. They bury us again. Well, not in a coffin this time, in a stormwater pipe. A stormwater pipe buried under the sand dunes, filled with water, filled with sandbags, bricks, rocks, sand, you name it. And we had to make our way through. I tell you what, if claustrophobia was your enemy, it was definitely your enemy this day. It was a terrifying challenge. Well, then it's back to base camp. And man, we are in a world of hurt. That's only day two. Guys, I hate to do it to you, but we're on the move again. Day three. Day three. Well, again, we're up early. Me and my fellow recruits were up early, and boy are we hurting. The muscles, the ligaments, the joints, the tendons. Oh, it's all starting to show on our bodies, especially for the older bodies. Well, what have they got in store for us? We had no idea. We we're all trying to second guess it. What's it gonna be? Are they gonna gas us? Are they gonna set us on fire? This is what they did. They took us back down to the Red Sea. They found an abandoned old tower. I don't know how tall this thing was. It may as well have been the Empire State Building. We had to run up the guts of this old disused building. Get to the top only to be thrown off by DSJ. Thankfully, we were attached by a rope. Hopefully we could control ourselves and enter the building through an open window, neutralizing any immediate threat that we discovered. What a challenge. Well, you'd think that'd be enough for one day, wouldn't you? But no, because this is the SAS. Then, <gasps> solo missions. With live grenades, live grenades. We have to stealthily approach a deserted desert building. Not quite deserted. I say that because there are two gunmen on the roof of said building. 
we have to take them out with live grenades and not get shot on the way. An exhausting, extraordinary challenge. And I'll tell you what, that's the wrong side. What a heart starter of an operation. Okay, day three. Maybe time for a quick recap. Well, an extraordinary three days. Three days. Three grueling, punishing, testing days. And, well, let's have a look at it. We lost Acker. Jason Ackermanis. Aussie Rules Hall of Famer and Australian sporting legend. My beautiful friend, the courageous Cassie. We heard her story. She survived the unimaginable. And she's a wonderful girl. My buddy, Big Bad Boyd Cordner, an Australian rugby league legend. And what a sweethearted guy. Gone. And of course, let's not forget the fabulous and funny and gorgeous Lindy Klim. It's tough saying goodbye to your comrades, your fellow recruits, your friends. But it makes you wonder this. What's in store for the rest of us? <laughs> We've seen some nasty injuries. Nasty injuries, taking our friends out. Injuries are already starting to plague the rest of the recruits as well. Although, they're just braving it out. They're just pushing through it. Come and push through with us, and I'll see you for the next slog. That's not a military move. That's flies.